Okay, I want to do a third tutorial, and this one is similar to the ones I've done previous, similar to the solve ones, only this one we're just going to define a function, and then we're going to use that function. So the first thing you do is you hit shift, and then function, or define, and then we need to name it, and I'm going to call this one force mass. So there, it just named the function. Now here we're going to edit, and we're going to do mass times acceleration. Hit enter, and there we go. We've defined force mass as mass times acceleration. You hit OK. Now, what you do, you go to the CAS menu, and we're going to paste the name of that function right there. And when you do that, it brings up this little menu right here which tells you that in brackets you need your mass, a comma, then your acceleration, and this is what it does. It times the mass and the acceleration. So you bring force mass here, put a set of brackets, then you go 4.5 kilograms, a comma, 15 meters per second is um, squared is our acceleration. You enter it, it gives you a number. But here's something that's cool. You can also use units. So 4.5 kilograms and 15 uh, meters per second squared. You enter and look at that, it gives you your units. So that's very, very handy. But here's the, here's the issue. Let's say that we have our acceleration here how do we get to solve one of these? That's where the solver app comes in. But this is a really cool way of recalling your apps or your, your defined functions. Uh, if you hit choose, it shows you all the ones you have. Right now, this is the only function I have defined. Um, anyways, I'll do another quick tutorial on how to use different types of variables because this is very limited to what I can use. That'll be in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you much.